uh, welcome to season six, week six, uh, Super Mario Odyssey versus D D and D. I'm Tima here with Adjective Swamp Daddy. Hello, it is me, Adjective Swamp Daddy. And Dan on Cams. Cams, that Dan guy. Hello, it is me, Lake Cameraman. <laughs> I'm I'm looking forward to this game. Uh we have uh some some tight competitors on both sides. Uh I I, I I'm I'm loving uh Diners, Drive Ins and Dive Comps. First off, I love the name. I haven't got to say that out loud once, and that's really hard to say out loud actually, believe it or not. Diners, uh, drive ins and dive comps. <laughs> yeah. I've had the the last stream I did I had to fight over that too. I've just taken the column triple D or D D and D. Alrighty. Looks like we're getting our teams organized here. I'm just trying to figure out where everyone belongs. Oof. I I am definitely I am definitely excited to see uh I don't know if you guys know this or not, but uh, there's some. I don't know much about the team chemistry on Super Mario Odyssey, but for diners, drive-ins, and dive comps, I'm gonna mess that up about 50. I'm just gonna say Triple D from now on because it's just gonna get worse and worse from here on. But for <laughs> Triple D, uh, uh, AJ Shaka Khan and uh, uh, well, AJ Shaka Khan, Yakety Tech, and Bang and My Drums have some really good chemistry. They play a lot of games together, so I, I'm looking to see uh, a lot of good. What you have here is you have two two supports and a main tank, and um, I, as I've stated a hundred times to my team, tanks win games. So uh, I think what you're going to see tonight is it's going to come down to which tanks are pulling off the bigger plays, which supports are keeping their tanks up, and then at the end of the day, if, if those things are even, it's going to come down to the final thing which DPS are making those those little bit of extra damage that just makes it happen. Because at the end of the day, it's it's it comes down to first, who are your tanks and what are they doing? So I, I, th I think that uh, DDD has strong tanks. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I, if, I, I think Super Mario Odyssey has to deal with the tanks before they can think of anything else for DDD. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Especially... Um, um, I would argue to say that uh, Yakety Tech is arguably one of the better Reinhardt mains in our league. Uh, for sure, I, I'd put him in the top five for sure. Um, and and he's he's aggressive, not too aggressive. So that's the dangerous area for Reinhardt. They're scary. So uh, you know, let's you know, I'm just eager to see what'll happen. Yeah, especially with uh, Hanamura as our first point. Uh, a lot of people like to hold that choke with tank, uh, your Ryan's R combo. And if I'm not mistaken, what you're going to see here more than likely is uh, Sanchez, he's going to be playing Reinhardt, and, uh, or Yakety Tech's going to be playing Reinhardt, and Shaka Khan's going to be playing uh, Zarya, if, if I were to guess. And they're going to destroy that choke and Super Mario Odyssey is going to have to have something to answer to that. Uh, if they if they don't switch to dive and they get through the the small window, it's just going to get ugly really fast. So I'm I don't know I'm I'm eager to see. I I don't actually know much of Super Mario Odyssey actually. I I've seen D D and D play. I played against them. It's not the funnest. <laughs> it's it's brutal. <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right, looks like they're making some switches here. Uh, we're gonna have T Mock coming in for Jax, uh, and yep. Yeah, what was that? Go ahead. Mm, I don't think. I'm not sure about that. Never mind. <laughs> Let's see. Looks like we're waiting for. T Mock wants free spec, not on a team. Oh, T Mock is T Mock not on a team? T Max on D D and D I guess, but he wants a different perspective and I I'm not sure about that. Let's see. yeah, let's see. Uh, uh, that is a possibility. Um let me see here, because T Mock he just asked 
uh, I just got asked to switch Tmok in for Jax. So uh, Tmok is playing for DDD. So uh, uh, as per her rules, I'm going to be keeping Jax um, spectator only on DDD just to keep it, you know, clean and fair on both sides. Right. I don't, I'm not really sure what the chat was saying there. but <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure it, either. It seems to be figured out. They're yeah, not yelling at us like, yet. Looks like they were waiting on their team captain to show up. Um looks like he yeah guy fieri himself oh I mean, how can you have diners drive-ins and dive comps without guy fieri i mean it's just not gonna happen so but we've been waiting and he's finally arrived you know the man the myth the legend himself well he's arrived to their discord it doesn't look like he's actually arrived to the game yet but we'll have to see it happen uh, Dan, do you have any predictions for the game going in tonight? Oh man, headed into this one, gosh, I I really don't know. I uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it just on on pure name alone. Going for going for the memes, I'm gonna take DDD. Uh, just 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 to rile it up a little bit, see what's going on. <laughs> I know uh, I know that that shock attack uh, combo is gonna be gonna, gonna be a good time. There are, there's some rough players to beat, so I, I look to see uh, Super Moira take them down. I'll be really excited to see a close matchup here. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I, I've even seen, uh, you know, going outside of uh, Shaka and Yakety, uh, Aunt, Aunt Jamama, I believe that's the name. Aunt Jamima? Looks like it's Jamima. Uh, looks like Aunt Jamima, or Uncle Jamima, is a... Uh, I've, I've played against them before, and he's a he's a pretty good Zenyatta. So if they are if they are in fact going to be running in Hanamura that that classic Reins are versus Reins are, it's going to be whoever baits out that trance first, or if the other team even has a trance. So what I'm looking forward to seeing is whether or not uh, we what our supports are going to be doing to kind of answer to those uh, those big plays. So we'll have to wait and see. Looks like. Looks like uh, the team captain for DDD finally has showed up, so we're going to be starting real soon. Um, but again, like I said, you can't have diners, drive-ins, and dive comps without uh, Guy Fieri. And they're going to be switching out Aunt Uncle Jemima. I cannot say that. <laughs> I cannot be Aunt Jemima. Yeah, 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 but it's it's spelled Jemima. <laughs> it's, it's not spelled <laughs> correctly. <laughs> All right, it looks like yeah. we finally got it figured out. We've got uh, Guy Fieri coming in, which is um, for me is an interesting trade off because uh, you're looking at who are your support mains here. I know Guy Fieri plays a little bit of Moira. Uh, he plays some tank too, so you know I'm I'm excited to see where this goes. Funky Sal, I believe, main healer for them. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we have, I mean, and AJ, of course, got his start playing Overwatch as a Lucio one trick. And I can only say that because I, too, got my start in Overwatch as a Lucio one trick. So <laughs> it's no salt, no shame. There's no shame in it, all right? Some of us like skating walls. Right. All right, looks like... Uh, DDD is ready to start. I'm waiting on a... All right, looks like they're both ready to start. So we're about to get this game started. All right. Traveling to and uh, Chad, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, why don't you just go ahead and pop them in there? We'll be trying to keep up with them as we go along. But during the duration of the game, we probably won't be noticing anything in too particular. So Remember to start the game. Yes, of course. <laughs> it's usually helpful to start the game. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Who would have thought? All right. All right. Now, my prediction is, is that we're going to have a couple of Reinhardts and Zarya's here. Uh, maybe if we're lucky, we'll get some May action as well. Looks like they're not... Hmm. Are you getting any character models? Not yet. I don't 
Oh, there we go. Hello. <laughs> All right. Looks like we are. Looks like full dive for DD and D, or partial dive. And it looks like they are going to be running a Rhinezar on the choke. So I actually like the dive choice here. Uh, I'm wondering how well they're going to fare with this Bastion, considering that they have uh, a. I was about to say a Sanchez, <laughs> but they have Yakety Tack on Diva. Um, and with the pharmacy as well, I, I, you know, I'm going to say that this is going to be pretty tough for Super Mario Odyssey to hold Five, with this comp. Four, three, uh, two, also, interesting placement one. here with the tank, so let's see how this goes. Fighting almost on point with Junk spamming the gate. All right, looks like we got Tmok doing some scouting with San, uh, as uh, Sombra, and he can see that uh, they have a Bastion. He's informing his team now. But the tank, the dive tanks are immediately ignoring everyone and going to the back. Looks like dive tanks are making a, a shot at... Ooh, wow. Deleted immediately. Ooh, that's a big pick right there. We have a uh, Zenyatta getting take dropped. Red burner. The Sombra gets resurrected, and we have... Looks like a pretty... Balance fight going on here. Right? Uh, um, uh, Mercy trying to res. Oh, a get it huge off. anti on the uh, Reinhardt and the Zarya. And Banging gets a boop. Just as we saw, and as predicted, D D and D captures this point fairly quickly with this dive comp. And they're not taking any time to push forward either. They're keeping the uh, they're keeping AJ with Shaka Khan on. Uh, the point while the rest of the team starts pushing forward and it looks like they're going to head the tanks are going to head to the left here and try to see if they can pick off somebody with any luck they can get this Lucio but it looks like they're going to have to back out of here oh the Ryan's going in there that's a that's a that's a rough choice for the Ryan Reinhardt. is off that map he is gone he got booted off by the D.Va and it looks like we have the Winston coming into the point here and he is he is surviving, if anything. He's got this Mercy Pocket right here. And again, they don't really have anything to contest this far, except for the, uh... Wow, there she is, actually. She did her work. She did her due diligence. Ash came in there and capitalized on the far gameplay. DD and D does have three outs up to... Super Mora's one, maybe two coming up for this next fight. Yag attack is team max. Alright, that's a huge pick with the D.Va. You would, you would hope to see the D.D. and D back out of this fight and regroup. They can't really push forward without the D.Va. Right. There's no hope without that defense matrix. And it looks like uh, Winston's jumping in there, giving some free ult charge. Uh, Perhaps a... Um, I don't know what he was doing there. <laughs> Maybe uh, a misjump, but uh, it's a it hard misjump. a pretty accurate misjump. Oh, there comes Bob. Bob's coming out. That was a... Um, the leading Farah. Oh, on we got a jump. sleeping hog over here. What you're going to expect to see here is probably just Anna backing out. That was an attempt to keep her uh, self alive. And now it looks like we just have DD and D at a standstill here. Uh, the Ash is doing work on the Faro, so I would probably switch off of that. Ooh. That's a huge combo. Huge combo. What you got is an EMP bomb, and it just did work on the rest of the team, but let's see what this... Oh no, there goes the Ana and the Mercy. That's a, that's a huge... That's a, another huge jump, but here comes Mad Monkey. If we can just get this... And oh, there it is. The... But the rest of the team is Garage. back already, and I don't think they're going to make it out without any support, so let's see what they can do here. Uh, no, Monkey this is... Falls. As expected. That's But that's huge, though. They, they actually baited out the sound barrier for that fight which the Lucio probably didn't even have to drop there. So it's definitely going to be a interesting fight coming up where um, Super Mario Odyssey really doesn't have any ults left whatsoever. But uh, D and D also used all of theirs. They only have Ana's left. Yeah, that Nano though can do some serious work and they, they don't have anything to defend it. Although they, Ash they switched can get off by. dives now. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a really good choice in my opinion. Uh, 
I had a Comet taking out, or t -Mock taking out Stan and Rando there. Start. Now here they're gonna try and pump. Oh, that's a huge There's slam. A You're gonna see a white here. You're gonna see a white from Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dive Comps. If they're lucky, they can get a little bit of old charge before they do. All right, the Ryan goes down. That's a big pig. They don't have anything to push in on it, though. You're gonna see. Yeah, they're just gonna try and get out of there, which is a good idea. A huge shatter from Guy Fieri, though. I'm sorry, not Guy Fieri, Cartes. Cartes. So what you're seeing here is actually some better tank play on the side of Super Mario Odyssey. This hog on the right side is keeping pressure on all the as they try to come in, and now he's sort of ooh, that is a huge dynamite. Bob's coming in. May saves the day, but it's not going to be enough because Bob is just going to wreck all of the team that is on the wrong side of that wall. Karch is taking out Shaka Khan to finish that off. Late Bob. It's a definitely an interesting Bob. It's it's easily counterable, and I don't know what the... Oh, okay. I'm not sure what that was about. So, what... D D D and D needs to do right here is they need to sort of refocus and not get uh, picked off by trickling. So hopefully they can all gather together and sort of figure out what their plan is. Yeah, they don't know if they want to go top or down through the middle. Looks like they're going to try to make a push through mid, and they're more than likely just waiting for their ash to show up. They're starting to move in now. Looks like their Ash decided to hold on left side by herself, maybe to get some picks. Another Huge shatter. slam, but the sound barrier was there to save the day. That Counter shatter. slam in the mix, and hopefully Yak and Attack can survive, but he was just fine. Guy Fear taking off Red Burner. Big picks, big picks. Looks like both supports are down for Super Mario Odyssey, and all we have left is a May coming There's... in with her big old freezy ball of death. Managed to get Yag attack in it. Guy Fairy is back up, and there, it looks like Bob is on point to do some work because it it's going to be very hard to survive against this Bob on point. And you're going to be watching as teams just get picked off over and over. Here they come. Although... And what you're going to be seeing here is D, D, and D. They're going to be... It's going to take a minute, but... Oh, wow. Shatter and a missed and charge. That's going to be it, I believe. Wow. Looks like they finally... I hear you missing the charge. Yeah, but it looks like they finally figured out what they wanted to do, and they came straight down mid and, you know, just made some big plays. Once, once they started, they couldn't really be stopped there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Dan, do you have anything you wanted to add to that last engagement? Uh, not too much here. It's been a been a bit of a whirlwind. We saw a lot of good engagements up on that top corner of the second point. That's where they they really hit a roadblock. I think they might have done better to uh, come down main a little sooner. That's where they got their best push. But uh, in the end, it worked out either way. So I can't complain too much. Definitely, with them having the May and Roadhog combo going up top right, just wasn't really an option for them. Especially you you could you saw it happen where uh, the May wall would go up and then. Next thing you know, an Ash Dynamite was coming in. Three are down. They're all burning. You can't really do anything because you've got the big chunky hog in front of you and, you know, the scariest Ice Queen in all of Overwatch sitting right there waiting to just smile as you die and freeze to death. So, you know, it's a really scary combo. It looks like... Yep, this is exactly what I expected from this sort of uh, first point gameplay. Except for the uh, the, ha um, the Wrecking Ball. I, I always call him Hammond. Hamster, Hammond, Wrecking Ball. <laughs> it's all the same. Why does, why does Overwatch have to name their characters so either fam similar or weird? <laughs> so what we're going to have here is the classic... Uh, you're going to see the Reinzar fight at the choke and... What's going to come down to is whether which Ryanzar is doing more damage and also whether or not this uh, Sombra can do some serious work here. Because if that shield goes down and, you know, no communication is happening. Here comes the Timok gets Red Burner right away and they find this Metra. 
Sombra. Yeah, yeah, the Sombra goes down pretty fast, and that's a huge pick here. What we have is Ryan trying to charge back to the base, but Hammond is all the way in there, and he's making some work of the team. That the Hammond came in as the tanks are setting up and was able to boop the the Reinhardt out of position into inside the point inside the inside the uh, I, d I don't know the word for it. <laughs> Looks like we have actually some uh, serious old economy differences happening here. If you look at Guy Fieri, he's already got shattered. As opposed and to down goes Cartas quickly. If they don't pay attention to point, they're going to lose it real fast, but looks like that's not going to happen. Oh man, Reaper's doing some serious work on Guy Fieri. I expect a Shadow to come out right here. Oh, there, there it, it is. is. You should buy a lottery ticket. Oh, there goes Lucio. Now all that's Quickly left is Reaper, and he's going to be deleted the... pretty fast. Reinhardt trying to get back in there, but deciding not to. So they're switching to a Roadhog instead of the Zarya. Um, this should work for them, I suppose. If they can get the Reinhardt to turn around, maybe they can do some work on it. But I suppose that this is actually mainly for the Hamston. Uh, Hamston. Listen to me. The Hammond. <laughs> that that sound seems fair. Uh, they, they quickly moved point, taking out the ports first. Oh, huge oh, sleep on the ulting. Oh, we have a pause. It looks Mr. like someone Prefecto disconnected. Alright. Well, good thing we have that automatic pause for disconnects turned on. For so. sure. Alright. Well, I gotta say, I, I, I believe that this fight was looking pretty good for DD and D. Even they though they have two down. They don't have the main tank, but they have Bob in there. They do have the Bob in there. Uh, it's it's definitely going to be a bit of a hard work getting... Capitalizing this point, even though they don't have their... Uh, especially since they're a player down now, too. So, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I agree, uh, Linda. This looks like a tactical DC. So, Chad, anything you've noticed so far this game? Right. Trifecta's back. All right. All right, let's see. I don't see him yet in the actual team comp, do you? I do not. What's the unpause function? Uh, that's a good question. Alright. No, it's actually, uh, it's a combination of about four. Control shift plus, there it is. Thanks, AJ. Alright, here we go. So, it's gonna be unfortunate. But it looks like Bob's gonna do some serious work here, and I see, I would be hard pressed to see Super Mario Odyssey actually win this. The only situation where I see Super Mario Odyssey winning this is if that Reinhardt gets a huge shatter. But the grab. it doesn't look like it's happening. Actually, you know uh, what? This is gonna be a close one. Mine's oh my in, goodness. trying to get mines on the orb, but it was a little bit late for that. Oh, huge There's a shatter. shatter. Lucio, Breadburner managing to get away from it. Still Looks fighting like Breadburner's going to go down to this Reinhardt. Yep, down he goes. Now all they need to do is sustain. Now, Jonah, banging my drums, has an ult. He may want to use it here to keep the Reinhardt up, but it's going to be a little too late for that, looks like. Too late. I, I, I think at that point it's just... Uh... Well, wait. With the rest of their team there, it, it, it could have helped, but it looks like they're actually, they're doing some serious work. Oh, that, that, that hamster Hoxie. is being hamster and not yeah, that's being doing what hamster, taking care of. hamster does best. But he's down now, and it looks like we still have uh, Yakety Tag 
On there, Zarya. Uh, there he goes. He's, oh, he didn't make it off the map. Wow. The whole demon. And Reinhardt is back. There. Looks like he's gonna pick off the Lucio. And he's he's actually having a hard time with this Lucio back here. Lucio seems to be invading him. And now the down. Lucio is Lucio goes down. Reinhardt seems to be getting picked off, but the Reaper's gonna come in and probably pick off this Zarya here. Yeah, there she goes. Huge EMP, but there. let's see if it can be capitalized. And... They managed to get it, but they fought the whole time. Oh yeah, Super Mario Odyssey managed to cap the point, but... Diner's drive did not make it easy. No. And they're already reset up. And they're all... This Bob is a tactical Bob for defense purposes, and it looks like it might be able to do the job of keeping the Reaper. Yep, at bay. Reaper goes down. Two picks and for Bob. Here, here comes the Hog death. Uh, looks like Hog is going to try to get away, but he's just going to get picked off eventually. That's a tactical death right there. Yep, trying to get to the, trying to get off the map. Get I think. Give me twenty. My ultimate is ready. The good news is, is that during that entire engagement, uh, diners, drive-ins, and dive comms only use the Bob. So what they're about to have is they're about to have Grav, and Grav, the Grav Mines combo is actually pretty nasty. So I, I would love to see that happen. They'll, they'll have Nano as well. Teamok getting hacked, but not being, uh, Ooh, this looks like to not being able to capitalize. Looks like Stand and Rando just picked off their Ana. That's a huge pick. Get behind. And then there we just saw the the, uh, the mine. Yep, the mine grab combo. It took out the Moira, which is again another huge pick. There goes the. There's a, that looks like it's going to be it for uh, the, that push for Super Moira Odyssey. Super Moira still has Shatter and Whole Hog. GD and D only have Nano. How they make it a Bob for this fight as well? Trifecta's being very bold here, and it looks like it didn't pay off for him. He's been spotted almost every time he's jumped in. <laughs> Stan and Randall being sneaky on the bottom. So what you have here is you have your tanks and your Lucio holding this high ground, keeping them from coming up. Uh, and if they do come up, it's not going to make it easy for them because you have... What you can see here is this uh, Hammond is setting up in a position to where he can just sweep in, get a ton of old charge, and we'll see what happen right about now. Stan and Randall's looking for Ana. Oh, and a big delete happening on the side of Super Mario Odyssey. They do have Nano Bob. Nano Bob is going to do some serious work on this team. I call Nano Bob Bastion with Aim Bob. Stan and Randall did not get Ana. He got slept. Then got her eventually. Chaka Khan. It looks like Tracer's either going to try and jump off the map or maybe try and get out of here. And up, oh, she sticks the. That's an interesting choice there, actually, to stick the hey, wrecking ball hey, instead of using it for a support. But looks like she's going to get out of there alive, possibly. Well, don't speak too soon. Uh, she's fighting. And the rest of the team is coming in through the main choke. Huge dynamite. Oh no, that's going to be a big Ryan's pick on the Reinhardt. Oh, huge, huge shatter. Shat. But he was able to get off his shields before it happened, and now Sombra's coming in with a hack, or an EMP on the entire team. Looks like Super Mario Odyssey is not going to be able to capitalize that on that, though. And you're going to see Super Mario Odyssey is going to have one more push, so they need to group up and see if they can figure this out. You got Stan and Randall waiting to find the uh, entrance to get at Chaka Khan. I will say this is not looking good. They have the old advantage here, and that's where you see it happening right there. Is there it is. You're going to see some deletions happen. Stan and Randall. Bob Rando comes in. Bob deletes. Bob deletes. And the Junkrat can't even make it into the choke because Bob is, seems to be guarding the way. That's but that's rough. some big picks. You have Tracer and Junkrat coming in with some big picks. And 
Let's see if they can make any work happen. Oh, that's Reinhardt. another huge pick. Reinhardt comes in with a pin. Nano. Super Mario Odyssey is making it happen. All they need to do is get this Ryan, but don't don't lose the jump. All right. I don't. All we have left is the Lucio and the Zarya. Oh man, huge dynamite. Pe burning. Picks off their only support that they have there, but Moira comes in in time. Stand in Rando's bag, but looks like we had to switch to Moira. And they are being burned alive right now. Oh, big shatter, huge big shatter. shatter. Big shatter and dynamite. But uh, oh my goodness, a Tracer Pulse Bomb is gonna, uh, a little, bit, a little bit of miss there on the shatter, but yeah, I think they'll still be able to pick off the Zarya, but I think they're actually gonna take this one. They're doing their best be to stall it out. hard for to come back. Oh, uh, this could be bomb. a huge bomb here. Uh, Funky Thou taking All they have the is a little bit more. This is a huge stall. Higher. Huge stall by DD and D. Funky Thou, Threat Burner walking into the mine. There comes another Bob. Here comes Bob. Bob's going to be doing some work on the point. Looks like he's going to get charged off Bob the point. Hopefully he makes him. Now the Moira needs to be looking at her Reinhardt here. Moira, oh. Moira, look at your Reinhardt. Oh no, that's unfortunate. Bangin used his barrier to. That, wow, that. it was it was fantastic. It was a fantastic. That was a effort. great fight. Super Moira Odyssey gave it their best shot. They put it all in there, and it almost paid off for them. Play of the game. This was a huge bomb. EMP combo, and you can see them preparing it right here. Oh, yeah. A little early on the EMP, but it worked out for them. It worked out. And the spray. So it looks like we're going to have the first win go to DD and D. Um, and as you saw, I, I think it really it came down to tanks. You know? Yep. The... We had some huge plays from the tanks. Lots of fat chats. Dan, anything you wanted to add? Uh, not too much. Trying to trying to keep my head spinning around working the cams and not uh, <laughs> not too many of the viewers instead. But uh, it's certainly a good match. That was uh, that was a lot of fun seeing that prolonged team fight there at the end. Uh, the big Diva bomb coming out. A cup couple of big bobs. The bobs were very clutch in that last round in general oh, yes. for both teams. It was a valiant, valiant effort for him, uh, Super Mario Odyssey to come in there. They they almost made it happen. It was so close. It was a good fight. There was there was a lot of moments in there where I saw it was like it would be you know one or two people left holding defense or offense, and then next thing I knew it'd be a whole team fight again, and then you know it kept swaying one side back and forth. It was never just you know nobody got steamrolled. There was no. Uh, no, no last ditch like valiant effort. It always felt like there's a good coordinated fight. I bet you there's a there's a lot of good communication going on in general. People are aware of when their teammates are going down. Uh, they're aware of when they have an ult that would be good for stalling. They're aware of you know when there's a great ult to push on. Uh, we saw some you know great placements on the ults, especially. Uh, I know you mentioned at the end like that Junkrat got cut off uh, from making it through the choke, but then, you know, as soon as he came through, he got some big picks. So, you know, had those come in earlier, that could have swayed the tide, things like that. Uh, so I think, I think the, uh, the ults and the tanks are really making a big impact on this. Yeah. I, to, to add to that, I think the, the lack of using ults effectively is also making uh, a difference here as well. Uh, as I pointed out, we, we had that the Reinhardt versus Bob moment and Moira was ulting and if she would have just taken a, a little bit of time to look over at her Reinhardt she probably could have saved him and and he was fighting for his life against the Bob who is as everyone in the game knows is the scariest entity to ever hit Overwatch except for those two weeks where Bastion got that insane buff but <laughs> nothing like uh, adding a, a seventh man directly <laughs> into the mix <laughs> yeah exactly uh, it, if you didn't notice, the Hammond got sub got a couple of picks with his ult. I think just being in the right spot, he got he managed to get the Junkrat's tire, and then a random Lucio wandered into him. Oh yeah, it was a huge again. Hammond plays throughout the entire game. Actually, I, I was I was excited to see it all happen because I I, I love watching Hammond plays. It's 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 rarely <laughs> it's rarely seen on a professional level. But here at the PMA OWL, we can make it happen. We can see some Hammond plays. Yeah. All right. 
looks like we've had some swaps come in uh so i'm i'm i'm, I'm excited for the second map uh just out of curiosity uh did that go as you guys expected did you think that dd and d was going to take that map yeah i think i thought that dd and d was going to take it i think that I, I thought that they would just have a stronger a, a stronger offense to be honest all right dan any uh any thoughts about this next map going in uh, not too much. I know, uh, we're, we're entering, uh, Boop City territory, so, uh, I'll be er very interested to see some of those Lucio plays, some big, uh, Wrecking Ball plays coming out. You know, as, as we all know, the, the well must feed, so... The well, we'll see, must be fed. We'll see what happens here, coming into Helios. So, uh, are we actually starting on the well? We looks are. like it. Looks like we are. Which the well will feed. The well will feed. Can we get some uh, can we get some hype in the chat for the well? Biggest player in the map. <laughs> can we, let's get some predictions here. How many times will the well be fed in this map? Let's get a number here. I'm going to go with a solid 7. Seven? 7 times the well would feed would eat. Ooh. I don't know uh... I don't know about the well itself. I'll, I'll give the well maybe a 4 or 5, but I, I bet you uh, in this whole map set I bet we're going to see do, upwards upwards of 10 boops. That's what I'm calling. So you're going for four or five in the well? Four or five in the well. Give me a, give me one. Four or five. Which one? You, you're going to pressure me on it? 40, <laughs> yeah, uh, 45. Right. No. 45 <laughs> no. I'm well. going okay. with four. I'm going with four in the well. Four in the well, Bob. All right. Four in the well. How are you feeling, Timmy? Uh, you know, looking at the team comps now, I think it might go hungry. Uh, Maybe one oh. or two. Two or three. One or two. Wow. We'll say two. Two. All right. I probably completely blown out of the water here, but <laughs> let's let's get some predictions in the chat here. All right, and keep them counting. All right. All right. So we got a pharmacy happening, but it's gonna be hard playing pharmacy with this Ash doing some work. And Ryan the Zara first one. is an interesting choice here, but it looks like they're actually been running triple tank, and the well has been fed. The well has been fed the first time. Uh, oh, Mr. Effect man. Looks like the well has been fed again. Guy Fury, already. I've, I, my, my prediction <laughs> is already wrong. <laughs> Looks like we have. We're actually gonna have Super Odyssey taking this first point. Uh, it's looking good for them. This triple tank is seems to be working. Oh, the well has been fed. There it is. Came out picking off standing Rando. And Gert. This is going to be Pharmacy oh, is down. Wow. wow. And just like that, Diner Drive Ends and Dive Cups come in and just let them know that they own this point and they take it back. And there goes Wait, Lucio. Where'd he fall off? Big feed. <laughs> <laughs> did he fall Shaka off the edge? The big feed. Yeah, he was trying to do some sneaky Lucio stuff and he made a I jump see. that was a little too big around the corner. <laughs> So, F's in the chat for the Lucio. Wow, well, well, looks like there's no Lucios in this fight this time. And I'm imagining this is Reinhardt's gonna get booted in the hole, and there he goes. And down. That's four in the hole. Five in the hole. Five in the hole. <laughs> you all and AJ is doing some work with some environmental kills. Shaka Khan coming in with some big boops. Here comes the Zarya. And I imagine the Zarya is about to be in the hole. Off. Nope, she's just dead. Just dead. That was a Just risky guys. Looks like we're already at your number, Dan. Four in the hole. Four in the hole, Bob. Sorry to those <laughs> in the stream. I've, uh, I've managed to miss most of the well feedings. We'll see if we can't correct that headed on. Although, Guy Fieri is now. holding up real close, and it looks like Karthus is about to have a shatter, but... Ooh, that's oh, a fat boy, that's a fat shatter. That is it doesn't a... really matter if you have shatter if their Reinhardt gets it first, but it doesn't do you any good when you're dead. Here comes the card. This is There's and I, uh, We're going to expect a uh, pretty, pretty fat shatter on these supports here, but... Oh, there goes. That's five in the hole. Nope. That is six in the hole, actually, right? I believe that is six. I believe that is six Seven, in the hole. Eight! <laughs> Eight. That was a Ooh, double. That's a big double. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. And 
Looks like more uh, Super Mario Odyssey will take this wow. back. With huge environmental kills coming in from Sand and Rando with Farah. Uh, looks like we have another and disconnect. Out. Looks like we have another tactical disconnect. Although it wouldn't disconnect. be so tactic for them considering they were about to... Looks like they were about to just cap on the point, but... It looks like uh, we've had... The well has been fed. It is full. The well is hungry tonight, folks. It has been thoroughly fed. And, you know, I, I think don't think it's done yet. Yeah, I, I, I think, uh, you know, since I don't see chat has made any predictions, I, I'm going to call myself the winner here with seven. So, yeah, but we passed you. So. Yeah, but uh, I didn't bust, and that's what's important. Well, I mean, gotta... we, we've still got plenty of time left here. Are we, uh, are we trying to re-up on this this year? <laughs> oh, are we re-upping? Okay, we'll re-up. We're, we're re -up? all the way to eight? We're at eight. We're at eight. Eight? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go big or go home. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say that Super Moira is going to hold this for a little bit, and uh, we're going to go all the way up for uh, for lucky number 13. Um, What about you, Timmy? Uh... See, seeing the way they're playing right now, I uh, will we'll double the number, 16. Ooh, that's bold. I'm going to go with 11. I don't think they're going to get much more, but I think it's going to be... Uh, I'm not aiming to bust. You know the price is right. You bust, you lose. All right, chat prediction. Uh, right is right going now. over, isn't it? More we're gonna get. Oh, busting is when you are going over, yeah. All right, so it looks like they really haven't... This far seems to have been going uncontested. Uh, Ryan sleeping in the background. Oh, uh, that's going to be a big old charge and right against the wall. Stan and Randall taking out Jack's drill. There comes shatter. a handful of... But oh, there's another the Looks like the well's been fed. That's a niner. Nine? That's a niner. And here comes Lucio with there. another boop. Wow, he sends Lucio in the hole, but it doesn't really matter because he's also a skatey boy. He can get out of there. And now it's a Lucio versus Lucio fight. I don't think... Shock is Shock and made it out alive. Wow. Stan and Randall Whoa, taking huge fireball. Dynamite on the Farah. Uh, Junkrat tire Timok comes in. And let's see this Roadhog disappear. Oh, not quite. Driving. Was Hangs the hole fed again? Skin of his vape. And he goes down the hole. That's gonna be a tenner. Ten? That's ten. And Didi and it takes us back. At the last uh, second, DD and D takes it back, and let's see if that Lucio can touch the point for at least the 97 mark and 98. 99, Lucio touches. That's another one. That's and 11. There's 11 in the hole. Uh, Swamp Daddy, you might no have more to feeding. Leave. No more feeding. No more feeding. <laughs> Stop feeding the hole. Don't feed Caleb's feed ego. The feed the hole. Don't feed the hole. <laughs> Don't feed the hole. But this is going to be a big win. Oh, uh, interesting uh, grab there. Oh, no. There's it looks like the hole's been fed. In the hole. That's or a 12. 12 in the hole. One more, do it for me, Shaka. Nope, nope. nope. Looks like you two bust it, and eleven is the winner. <laughs> <laughs> but big, big, big plays by both teams. With twelve environmentals over the course of the entire first match. Most of them coming from Shaka Khan and Stand In Rando. Shaka Khan, I believe, got six or seven by himself. There was. What I was gonna say there. It left. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we have some interesting picks coming over here from diners, drive-ins, and dive comps. I'm really loving these picks from diners, drive-ins, and dive comps. The uh, the Ana's gonna be a bit of a problem on both sides. What you're gonna see a lot of is uh, more than likely is Ana's getting shot in the head by widows. Because what you see on both sides is no dive tanks. And Anna's Stan and yeah. Randall picking the first wow. shots off. Huge pick on the brig. That's rough. Uh, Looks like we're gonna have a little bit of a tank fight here on the point, but I'd be su I'd be surprised if D and D won this without a brig. And wow, there goes the Torb that is taking out the Reaver. And huge anti on the point. Dr. Khan. And the Reinhardt should be deleted here, and following that up, Zarya will be burner. disappearing any second now. There she goes. She's gone. Dan and Randall getting... It's a case of 
Sniper v support. <laughs> they're not really looking for each other, they're looking for support at the moment. Oh yeah, definitely. Ana, this is arguably the worst map to play Ana on just because she's slow and it is very hard for her to get around these tight corners to see her team without getting booped right in the skull. Yep. Click heads, forehead. Ryan, uh, Guy Fieri has his shatter up. So that's about it for all. Huge advantage for them to have that shatter up. It looks like he's, he's asking for it. There and he it gets is. It. He gets that it. Shat. You can see him asking for it as he slowly creeped in towards the other line, trying to get behind his shield. And there yep. goes the brig. And next thing you know, Zarya's going to be dead here. So is Yusuke Tuck a play on Yak attack? Yes. I believe that is, is an ultimate right. account of uh, the, the infamous Yak attack. Oh no, I think the Ryan got a little greedy here, and the Zarya is coming team from team for the save. The oh, Reaper's going to be able to pick off this brig. Oh, the there goes the brig. The brig is gonna die from the Reinhardt. Yep, there it is. They got a little greedy there, and it's probably gonna hurt them in the long run. But Dive, Red yeah, they're got even now. Uh, Stan and Rando has eyes for. I think. And Stan and Rando taking Timok out. Timok has visor up right now. I mean, not visor. Uh, he has his widow sights up. And you are correct. I was wrong. AJ's behind them right now, so expect to see some big sleeps. Ooh, uh, valiant effort at the Shatter, but I still think this is going to pay off with them in the win. Stan and Rando taking out Shaka Khan. Uh, again, it's very hard to play that Widow on this map. You're going to see it there again. The Widow was actually yeah. shot by the Tor, but she had some shots put on the other Widow at first. Yep. I'm down on this. Yuckity, it's a big stupid head. Uh -huh, okay. Guy Fieri, or not Guy Fieri, DD and D are holding this point hard. They there are is hard. a. There's an ought to stop everyone. Brigitte trying to touch. Believe it or not, what makes a big difference from this point is, is actually having this widow in the back and this dwarf on the front. That turret is doing some That's serious That's a huge work. grab, but there's no one to capitalize on it. That, that grab had all but Shaka. That's going to be it. That's the second map is going to DD and D as well. And uh, if you're the first time tuning in here, uh, we do play all three maps just for uh, point sake. Uh, but uh, double boop. This is the double boop. It was beautiful, actually. Not only that, but a pick off on the, the notorious Shaka Khan. And boom, there it goes. There it is. Nom, nom, nom. Immediately to die to Tima. So, like I said, six environmental kills. You gotta keep up with this stuff, you know. <laughs> hey, man. You're just getting lucky. Oh, yeah. I know my Lucios. I eat my Lucios every morning before I go to school with my <laughs> snack packs. <laughs> While you skate around on the walls with your backpack. Yeah, you know me. You gotta whip out the Heelys and do the sick tricks. Oh, dude. Lucio Healy main confirmed. Get endorsement <laughs> by Healy's Blizzard? Think about it. The marketing. I would buy some Healy's if they had some, like, cool Lucio design on them. No, no lie. Yeah. You know, I, I think Blizzard could make some serious bank off a, uh, a co, uh, co-sponsored Healy's endorsement there. <laughs> Get some Lucio Co brand Healy's? Come on. Oh, absolutely. It sounds like a... Who, someone pay the man that thought of this. Who, who was that? Me or Dan? Oh, I think <laughs> I'm going to claim credit for that one there, uh, Mr. Wellfeeder so. extraordinary. Well, well, you, well, you guys are claiming credit. I'll just go and fill out the patent. How's that? Oh, that <laughs> sounds great. But what would you, what'd you guys think of that last map? How that Did that go as you expected? Uh, seeing, seeing that Widow fight come out, uh, I was a little surprised because that seemed like it favored Super Mario Odyssey a little bit more often. Um, I wasn't able to watch it too closely, but when the times I did pick it up, uh, it seemed like it was favoring them. But like you said earlier in the match, that Torb combo, having the Torb with the Widow just get, pr creates this presence in uh, sort of your your midline and also your backline that just makes it really, really hard for anybody to sneak around and get into capitalizations, especially uh, that Reaper I know we saw from Super Mario Odyssey was having some troubles with it. Right. Oh, yeah. uh, the the thing is, uh, DD and D just had more presence. Uh, sure, uh, Stan and Rando was getting the picks in the backline, but they couldn't move forward. 
Oh, definitely. It's it again. It comes down to uh, as well as huge tank plays. You know, General. Uh, I'm sorry, not General Dill. Guy Fieri had some big shatters there that you know, when he had them, he he utilized them correctly to take out two, maybe three people at a time, and it paid off. You know, each time. And you would see Guy Fieri have shatter already on the board before Cartus was even at fifty percent. Right. He was always ready to take him to Flavor Town. Oh, there you go. There's our guy for sure. reference for the night. We're going to give a hand clap to that one. <laughs> Alderac in Twitch chat is, telling, is saying, blaming that dang guy for the score. <laughs> oh, well, wow, wow. Just because I came out with the prediction early. I see how it is. <laughs> I, think he, I think that what they're referring to is the score if it's not in the, in the Twitch stream. Uh, perhaps. Oh, well. But we can still blame Dan for that too. <laughs> yeah, we'll blame Dan for it. It's okay. We're all on. We're on the. We're on the chat side here. We we pander. This is the pander <laughs> squad. So uh, before we get started with the next game, uh, you know, Numbani, very interesting map. Uh, without a doubt, my least favorite map in Overwatch. Without a doubt, my least favorite map in Overwatch. But that's largely because. I'm a fan of, here. I'm a fan of Numbani, especially uh, for that punishing. You can be punished here if you play Reinsar. Dive yeah. is so so strong on Numbani that it's, it, it can make it unfun if you're trying to play Reinsar. <laughs> and I just I I personally enjoy the Reinsar uh, comps more. You have swaps to do. Oh yeah, let me get them to him. I'm, I always feel like Numbani when when I'm playing it, be it you know offense defense, it's a real uh, snowball kind of map. You know, if you can get through that first uh, big hallway, you know, the big, make it down the big corridor and take that first control point, uh, that gives you so much momentum and it gives you so much like spawn advantage and you just, you really feel like you get to steamroll. Like if you, if you hold them all together, obviously, you know, I guess you could call that a steamroll if you hold the first point. But, you know, if you, if you get moving, if you get that payload going, it gets really, really hard the farther on you go. Um, and that momentum just builds so fast. The alts keep coming up faster and faster. Right. You know, it feels like uh, once you once you lose a good stronghold, it just kind of starts to slip away from you. So I'll be interested to see uh, how any recoveries can be made. You know, if that first point gets lost or taken, how are teams going to capitalize that? Are they going to push quick? Are they going to give uh, plenty of time for the cart to move around to that second point real easy? Or you know, how are they going to keep pressure on or take advantage of any? Uh, positioning that the other team allows them. Yeah, um, I'm. I'd be surprised if I saw um, Ryan's R on defense. It's 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 very hard to capitalize on. Um, what I expect is to see some huge Ash here because Ash is just she she can destroy on this map. There's so much long range high ground that you can hold, and unless the other team is playing dive, it's just going to be a bloodbath. So I'm interested to see how it goes, and uh, looks like the teams are ready. So let's get it started. Traveling Any early game predictions? Are we are we looking at a 3-0 from DDD or? I I kind of want DD and D to level to the name. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna be bold and brave here, and I say that they're gonna lose this one. You know what? I'm pulling for the underdogs here. I think they can do it. They've proven that they are capable. Especially when they they really put forth the effort, as we saw in the first map in Hanamura, when they they held a massive, almost a massive comeback, and then during Ilios they put up a huge fight on Well. So I, I really think that they can actually pull this one through. I think they could possibly play the better dive team, especially with Stand and Rando on Fara. If they kind of run a Fara dive, so I, I they they have the the first fight, but if the fight lasts more than that, I don't think they have it. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it. I, I'd be hard pressed to agree. <laughs> let's let's see. Uh, or I'd be hard pressed to disagree with you. Actually, I I, I agree with you. I think that they. Uh, I think uh, you're right there. I think that first fight is going to be where it really matters. I think if they don't win that first fight, they're going to get uh, in a bit of trouble here, especially with what we're looking at here is a, is a dive comp from the dive team. Yep. The dive. Yep. The diners drive in and dive comps. And again, you have an Ash here, so um, I don't know. The Ash, ash is going to be big. She could do work against Dive, though. 
She really could. The, the especially since they don't have a diva, they're not gonna have anything to really counter her insane damage output. So right. She needs to be the Hansel. target, or she's gonna end the fight. I think. Oh yeah, absolutely. So we have Lucio come trying to meet them on high ground here. Oh, huge sleep. Looks like the Zenyatta might have been out of position there, and actually. Could you mind my, or standing right and goes not down? Not looking good for Super Mario Odyssey. They were very split. I don't think they quite knew exactly how to set up for that, and I... they're gonna be punished for it, honestly. Yeah, they just didn't have the positions to set up for that, and it looks like Zarya's even gonna get uh, trickled here, unless they can make a comeback, but I, I don't see it happening. Super Mario Odyssey trying to trickle back onto the point, but DD and D is just doing work. Hamster's really doing a good job right now, creating space, grabbing the high ground when they're letting them have it, He's just picking people off, taking that Ryan away. Already in the back look at this! Look at this dive comp just charging in there and doing serious work, and that's how you play dive. You don't wait to put three on the point and cap it. You go in there and you make moves. You make it happen. Oh, wow. Huge stick. Unfortunate. <laughs> Stand-in Rando is doing some serious work on this tracer. He's made three picks. He stopped this momentum that DD and D had by just capping on them all. Oh, sleep on the Funky Sal. Let's see if we can make some work of it. No, he's already back up. And he's actually got mines. DD and D. Again, has the huge outcome on advantage. Big slam here, that brick is gonna die. Wow, the whole team is gonna die actually. Yep, They're just gonna get deleted. Uh, that's rough. Standard Rando might stick around for a little bit. If Standard Rando's wise, he'd best to leave. This is not a fight he can take. And yeah. I think he's gonna get picked off here. Yep. Right there. His target took him out. I think he was trying to get back somewhere where he could hide, grab a health pack, and just wait till he can pick off a healer in the back line. He's a he's a smart player, so I imagine right. that's what his plan was. And just like that, they already got the next point. That was insanely fast. Diners dive. They're staying true to their name. They're making quick work for some more Odyssey with this dive comp. And it's a very interesting dive comp at that. Really, truly, the only dive tanks are... I mean, the only dive is four out of the six. And like that, Standing Rando comes in and picks off the support in the back, like predicted. He's he's doing serious work in the back line. But is it good enough? You can't stop the roll. Like, like Dan was saying, the snowball effect is... Now, Ryan Zar should do some serious work here. Now, Kartus has his grab, but do they have anything to actually do with it? Uh, I expect Stan and Rando to have his ult within the next 20 seconds. So, hopefully, he can do some work, but I don't think they can stop this. Here comes another dragon into point, into spawn. Dakakon takes grab, but, oh, Shatter on the point. It's going to just make it work for the rest of the team. Big sleep capitalization. Mines are gonna prevent the rest of the team from coming in. It looks like it's gonna be some serious work for Super Mario Odyssey to stop this. But they're giving it their best and huge pin. Oh no, the mines, the mines of death. That was but they don't have any support, so it looks like they should be able to just if they could just stabilize a little bit. They're not getting a chance to. Uh, I think everyone. they have it. I think they stabilized. They, yeah, Stand in Randers coming in clutch with some of these picks here. Yeah, I should just probably start telling, saying things how they don't have them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do anyways. Parts us out of the mech, mech now, but really putting some good work on the payload there. Switching to the Diva is an interesting choice here. Uh, Stand in taking out Sal on the, on the Hammond. A big pick. I'm not sure if the Diva switch is the correct choice here. Although they might need something to counter that Hanzo and high ground. It's just that Zarya does some serious work on this point with these, this corner that Ryan and Zarya play. Uh, 
Dragon taking out two there, both supports there. There's clear coordination happening from DD and D. Standing Rando almost lands another bomb on the Ana, but it did. It was close. Yuckity Tuck coming in with a shatter, it doesn't seem to connect with anybody. Uh, Super War Odyssey is stalling for their lives, and Stand in Rando's back in on the point. Careful of the mines, guys. And what we're seeing here is Stand uh, Super War Odyssey doing what they do best, and just stalling for their lives, and uh, it wasn't enough. Oh, here comes the... Huge meteor strike to stall at the point, but Dragon looks like the dragons are to come in and just clean up what was left over. Again, D and D coming in and just wow, really doing what they do best. That those tanks were just doing some serious work. Did the ash come in as big as you thought it would? There. Well, unfortunately, I think it could have come in bigger, but. The problem is, is that Super Mario Odyssey seems to be lacking in communication. There was some serious, uh, some serious picks in the early game that shouldn't have happened. We had some, the Zenyatta was the first to go, and I think he was a little bit out of position there, and then the Ash was quick to follow. But uh, you had about four different positions happening. One at the choke, one behind the choke, one, uh, closer to the top ledge uh, where the stop or the the light is close to the bridge and another one closer to the exit so there was like four areas where they were trying to hold instead of two and it just in a dive comp situation you really can't do that you're going to get picked off this is an interesting comp from super mario odyssey Let's see, Super Mario Odyssey's coming in with a Ryan Czar, Winston, Diva, Hog, Doomfist. Okay. So five tanks yeah. come out of them. And five a tanks. DPS. Yeah. I mean, I... I've heard of five support in, in a Doom. Not five tanks. It looks like Super Mario Odyssey Three, might two. just be trying to have a little fun here before the game ends and just come in and see what they can do. I want to see what happens, to be honest. Honestly, it's going it to be interesting. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be very difficult with uh, DD and D having the Ana. Uh, those those anti nades are going to do some serious work here. Oh yeah. The old five tank meta, as it's called, uh, as it was never. And it looks like the Ana is about to get picked off. Uh, honestly. And next is going to be the McCree in the back with Winston, and just like that. The, the entire team is picked off. Looks like the team is just playing what they play best and just playing a bunch of tanks because they're doing some serious work. They're... That's surprising. That was a pretty darn well, clean capture. The that first point. Goal. What did we say at the beginning of this game? Tanks win games, and obviously <laughs> games. they took that to heart. Apparently, uh, I might have missed it, but Ryan had like an instant three kill there. Yeah, it was pretty insane. <laughs> Looks like Hammond's gonna come in and try to do some work on the rest of the team. Uh, the hardest part of all this is gonna be if the Zarya can get any charge. If she can get any charge, she can do some serious work, but there's not much she can get charge off of. There's not a lot of damage happening. Right. They, they have a Reaper to deal with all the tanks now. And here comes the Hanzo. Well, he's gonna take care of the Diva mech and the Diva possibly, but. There goes the Reinhardt, he's gone, and the Diva, she's gone, but Funk, looks like Reaper's Funk gone as well. Them off. I've seen this before. I'm pretty sure the Lucio loses this one, and he does. <laughs> Yakety Attack is Doom versus Doom. Yakety Attack coming out on top. At this point, it looks like Super Mario Odyssey's just going to the point with no regard to communication or anything. They're just kind of walking in there. Hopefully they can get their team comps together and, and, and figure out what they want to do here. Meet 
Alright. Looks like we got a Doom Fist super battle in the air. And. Oh, Yak Attack missed. Looks like Stand In Rendo was able to capitalize and get the Brig in that. Mine's gonna block off the Diva from the rest of the team, but. Uh, you know what? She has boosters, so she can just fly. Could see a big blossom here. The bubble. Not the. Bomb the it was a close one. A couple of them couldn't get out there in time on this, but they made it in time. Looks like Standing Red was doing some serious work as this Doomfist. The now they just need to pick off Yakety Tech, and he is gone. Next needs to be the Hanzo. If they can get him, it'll be a really clean fight here, and they were able to capitalize on that. Now all they have to do is get this Brig, and I think they'll take this point. Well. Looks like they still have the hamster to deal with, but He's again, get, these no, these tanks are just going to do some serious work here. I expect uh, a valiant reaper old here, but it it's a uh, uh, smart play there. He backed out. He knew to hold his old. Wise decision by Funky Sal. Dude. The ult will have just cap. Well, you know what I'm interested in seeing is what this ult is going to do when five tanks are there, and other than Diva, no one can really stop him. Uncle Jemima well, getting picked off by the fire strike early in the fight. Red if I were to make a out. prediction here, Funky Sal is going to come and try and drop in with a Reaper ult, and Reinhardt is just going to shatter and say, no thank you. Well, Reinhardt's either going to shatter Hog's gonna hook him. It's gonna be a, gonna be a hard off to finish. Standing Rando taking on Shaka Khan. Meteor strike. Comes another meteor strike. Doesn't get anything. And it's taken over. But by it looks like Super Mario Odyssey is actually making it work with this team with this five tank combo. And huge shatter, but I think the Reaper's gonna come old right here and. Most of it was eaten. It looks like he's gonna... He's able to get the Winston with the majority of that damage, though. As far as upstairs, and she was taking some shots. Oh, yeah. no. Bye, Doomfist. Ooh, he was able to make it down just barely in time. DD and D are for going tank for damage now. It's a smart decision, actually, to fight all these tanks. It's best to go uh, you know, quad DPS. Something that can There's do a so serious amount there. of damage. Right. When you have, you know, a Reinhardt and Diva, it's, it's time to just do some damage. And that's what DD and doing. They got the Farah, they got the Reaper, they got the Hanzo. You're talking about three, three of the biggest yeah, damage exactly. dealers in the game. Got in there too early, but both of you just taken out quickly. With Guy Fieri being able to get out of there. Cartus makes a huge pick on the Hanzo. That's going to be a, a pretty big pick, but I don't think Cartus is going to make it out alive, considering that he got... Pretty peppered with those uh, guys here taking out Cardinals there. There's mines on the point. There's and Hog trying to clear some. I think we're going to see Shocker Con for them to come under the bridge and get a big barrage. If I could be honest here, I don't expect them to actually capitalize on this point without a support just because of the spawn advantage that DD and D has. It's, it's going to be very difficult for them. Unless they were to get a support, I, they could still run the quad DPS, <coughs> possibly drop the Winston, but I guess we'll have to wait and see what they decide to do. Guy okay, Fairy taking out Redburner. Funky Sal doing what Reaper does in DD. And Funky Sal is just deleting people from the game. Uh, as Reapers do. He is not fun to fight against as a tank. Guy Fieri coming in with a big old slam and jam. But I don't think he's gonna make up. Oh, he made it out alive. Oh, I stand. Funky Sal's in the background. There goes Gert. Let's break it. Even Looks like they're committing hard to this, and they're gonna go in there and do some work while they can. Five seconds left. Super more Adi he hasn't been able to get around this corner. They've, they've come out of spawn and are just met by you know, Dragon Strike or Mine or Hanzo, Hanzo Arrows. 
I'm having trouble. They're playing like rabbit dogs. They're just they're fighting for their lives at this point. When backed in a corner, though, it can be pretty scary. So I'm 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 expecting some big plays here, especially with this Zarya grab coming up. Zarya grab mine. Uh, bomb went off. She was not able to get Remax. Here comes the grab. Grab and hog. That is unfortunate. And it looks like that's going to be it right there. Unless this Doomfist can get to the point. Touches. And he's going to get picked off by the Pharah, and that's going to be a Finishing game. Mirage with the cancellation. So D D and D takes the third match. The clean sweeps the board. That puts D D and D at ten and one, and Super Mario out of the two and six. Some big plays from Uncle Jim as Hanzo here. Managing to finish off those Funky kills. Funky Sal with 49% kill precipitation. That is 50 huge. 50 limbs. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of time here. Uh, Dan, any comments about that last game? Uh, that last one, I really like. I kept noticing. Like, I look up top and just the alt meters. Uh, DDD seemed like they were constantly ahead on ults. And they really were able to capitalize that around that second point. Um, it felt like every time Super Mario was coming to make a push, they were walking into the face of, you know, dragons or mines. Like Timmy was saying, uh, you know, the Reaper ults were coming out big. I saw Reaper hopped in there and he really counteracted that grab coming in towards the end. Um, it just felt like I wasn't sure if it was that they were being out damaged or just the pacing and the decisions of, you know, which ults to take win. But I think that was a big factor in uh, what just felt like running up against a brick wall for that last minute or two. Yeah, that's what happens when you run a uh, quintuple tank. You were just saying, here, take some ult charge, take some. Here, we're giving it to you. Here's ult charge. Just take it, take it, take it. And that's why that's... almost every fight, Reaper had Death Blossom, Death Blossom. So. Right. Uh, so, yeah, Reaper fighting tanks is what he wants to do right now, for sure. And when, when he's got five of them around him. Oh, wants to uh he, he doesn't want to be anywhere else he's got a lot of hitbox to hit you know and keep him from going down he's got plenty of each hp to regen you know off the hog off the rhine off the winston there's just so much oh. for him to shoot Definitely. and there i don't it, maybe the hog can do it but there's not enough damage coming in to stop that Yes, um, I'm asking Standin to come in to uh, interview with us because I, I, I was loving some of those Tracer backline picks. Uh, his Widow sniping on the Ilios and his Farah. It, it just, you know, great plays across the board. Uh, hello, hello. It's, it's Eric. It's Guy Fieri here. The Flavor Town master himself. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, no. <laughs> And so we've lost our interview. I accidentally went to the AFK room. <laughs> Eric, come back. <laughs> so I don't know if Sandin Rando is going to be able to make it or not, but we'll have to see. He's dropping off. Let's see here. He might not have saw the message. <laughs> we can only Fucking assume. None. I can oh, shoot him a line on Overwatch and see if he saw it. Uh, it doesn't hurt to check if uh, well if I he... could do that if he weren't offline yeah he probably <laughs> he probably did see it it's okay he, yeah anyways great game sky or Eric or whoever Thanks. you all called uh, fantastic games uh, we we saw some huge plays and some really good tank play from both sides uh, yeah saw... for sure their tanks were playing pretty well yeah definitely uh, anything that you noticed that really made the game changing plays for you guys in terms of uh, what 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 sold that win for you? Well, um, <laughs> one I think EMP bomb is 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 a, a fun combo. For oh sure. yeah, that came uh, out really nicely. 
the EMP, we, we were trying to set that up for like three minutes, it felt like, and then we just kept getting staggered. And we were trying to like, stop dying. <laughs> you Here, we're going to make this play now. And, and we did, and we pulled it off. Um, you, you could definitely tell that you were you were making an attempt at it when, when uh, I noticed that the diva was just kind of staring at the window. And yeah. It, it's like, all right, they're, they're, they're wanting to do it. Um, uh, yeah, and I, there were some huge shatters in there as well. Uh, from both I, I, sides, yeah. yeah. I, I think it was... I couldn't tell who was playing it. It was Cardus some of the time, and it was um, mixed stupid hit some of the time. Yeah, I noticed that um, um, you more than often had shatter faster than they did, so... Well, you know. here's the thing about Reinhardt. Um, if you hit your fire strikes, you get shattered. That's basically how it works. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you hit all six, I think that's like instant 35% or so. It's, and it's, it's 7% per, so that's 30%. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, 35, because that's math. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you, you... It's... It's actually... Wait, if you hit all f six, you get... 30, it's 35, yeah. 42, because 7 times 6 is 42, right? Hooray for math. math. I'm too tired for math. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's do it, boys. So, yeah, no, it's a... Um, I mean, Definitely we saw a lot of good tank play from them on their attack on the last <laughs> I really wanted to get uh, Stand in were... Rando in here to compliment him on some huge tracer plays. And yeah, huge... his tracer was... His tracer oh, was... man. He was doing some serious work on your back line there. Uh, it was big. And the, and the I, was trying my best to, I was trying my best to peel and pull back whenever I saw the tracer going for flank, but too slippery, man. Too slippery. I noticed that... I even in, had uh, the Winston. I couldn't... Yeah. And, and both... Uh, Ilios and uh, in uh, the last map, Numbani, he was he was making fun of Shaka there. He was he was taking oh, was he? Was, yeah, he was Shaka picking on Khan, him. We got to thank him for the tier one that just dropped, so we can't make fun of him too much. Shaka Khan. I, oh no. <laughs> okay, to be fair, he's telling us to tell the stream he's a poo poo he's head. He's a big, big old poo poo head. head. <laughs> I he he also I, has a has a standing order to shit shit on him every game so that's uh here's, here's the thing that like showed me aj was like going into a serious mode there were two heroes that aj swore for me to never make make him play and he played both of them tonight on his own <laughs> he pulled out the, the moira on the last on their last push on hanamura that's when i'm like damn aj wants this one bad and then, then he pulled out the baguette on, <laughs> on Numani. I was like, it, it took me a second to realize he's on baguette. And I'm like, wait, AJ's playing baguette. What is happening? Uh, now, trying trying to like actually analyze that last point, like that last push that they had with the, the five tanks. In the it definitely caught us off guard. We were, A, not set up very well because we made a little swap because Dylan wanted to play with Lucio. And, and, and like, not everybody got the message. So we were already a little bit behind, but then... I don't know where comes five tanks running at us. And I'm like, well, Reinhardt's not the pick anymore. <laughs> um, but I was, I was really pleased. We had the swaps. We had it going down. That was actually a really good match to test our flexibility mid-match and not just, like, freeze and, like, what do we do now? So I was proud of my dudes for, you know, I said, hey, you go to this, you go to this. I'll go to this. Okay, cool. It was, it was nice to see us being so flexible and being so open and flex at the top yeah. of the hat like that. You had some really good dive happening there. I mean, it's in the name, right? So it has to Can happen. I tell you how happy I am that you said really good dive? Because, good lord, we were so bad at dive for the longest time, and we've been working on it hard the last couple of years. No, <laughs> you had... Uh, see, a big component of that was Funky Sal on his uh, hamster just doing some serious... He's making some serious space all through the oh, yeah. hamster. Good, good old P-Hunky. Yeah, he, <laughs> he was making some serious space there. And uh, it was it was really nice to see that. Uh, and uh, quick question for you: If you had to trade one person off your team, why would it be AJ? It's a little bit of a joke question there, but <laughs> don't mind. Um, We're supposed to, it's it's a I have a five minute timer for every time I have to say something bad about Shaka. So <laughs> it has to happen. I uh, I'm trying to decide first if I should actually answer this or truly. Oh, answer. don't answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> Just assume it's AJ. I mean, the stream wants to know. No. If I like... had to trade AJ, it would be because he's a whining baby back bitch. 
Nah, I love playing with AJ. He's a good dude. He's taught me a lot, both about being a captain and uh, about He's, he's calling you out. Stuff. He's saying answer it. Oh. I did. I said because you were baby back then. Oh, he said, hey, wow, thanks. I'm assuming. <laughs> so. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. No, it was some really great gameplay. I was hoping to get in a word with someone from Super Mario Odyssey, but I know it's rough after a loss, and I don't yeah. expect them to want to come in and talk about losing, because that's something that I hate doing, too. You don't. But they played supremely well, especially on Hanamura, that last choke. I thought they had you guys. I thought they were going to come in, and they were going to... Because you they played, played that well. well. Yeah, they played that pretty well. But the uh, it was definitely really well done. Ilios... With the huge, huge boops across the board, we were taking okay. bets on how many boops would happen across the board. <laughs> so, here's, so, here's, so here's a funny story from Well. Um, we're sitting at the point, we're getting up to 99, and Tom's doing his thing on Lucio. <laughs> and I said to my team, I said, Tom, don't make me solo shadow you again, because I will. And then he booped me in the well, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, I look like the idiot now. Right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like uh, AJ is fearing something. He said mute the stream. I don't know. He was worried about something. Anyways, it, it was some huge plays. Uh, the the running bets on well came out to be uh, it, it totaled thirteen times the well was. I there. believe it. So I was at least five of them. <laughs> I, I had to. Shaka had six alone. Between yes. between Farah and Lucio, I had to have been five. Uh, uh, I think those only times I died was when I got booped. Joy's a plan of Reinhardt. Yeah, I hate Reinhardt on well, but they were running Reinhardt, so I'm like, well, I guess I should just play it, Reinhardt instead of a reason. Right. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're about to wrap it up for the night, and um, I just wanted to check and see if the chat had any questions or anything like that. Uh, before we saw those questions, though. Uh, any lasting comments, Guy, about this week, next week? What do you expect for the rest of the year? Um, what are <coughs> your plans for, you know, your future career? Uh, <laughs> uh, do you have names your, picked out for your children? Get, Anything get, along those your, lines? Your social security number. <laughs> Mother's maiden name. All that stuff, yeah. Birthday, yeah. while I'm at it, yeah. why not? Yeah. Uh, um, no, I think, uh, all in all, whatever happens for this season, I'm happy with how my team has done we've we've won a lot of games we've lost some games but who hasn't other than no mercy but that's fine <laughs> they're a sick, they are a sick team like uh Khan is asking why won't you let the team out of the basement <laughs> <laughs> okay so so the other day aj aj didn't play great on a map and he wanted to report himself but he's like i'm sad i can't report myself i'm just gonna report eric instead and he wrote this like <laughs> Long ass thing about how I keeping him in his base in the basement, and I only feed him like a grain of rice every few days or something. <laughs> it was hey, come super on, that's funny. plenty to live on. <laughs> it was so. <laughs> um, but no, I'm happy with where we've come. We've we've somehow managed to take the huge personalities that are Greg and AJ and meld them to making them work together. <laughs> uh, and we found ways. We found ways for all of our members to have kind of their niche and role, like. Uh, Jonah, bang, it was originally going to be mainly a DPS play with her. Kind of I've been seeing a lot of Lucio in... Uh, exactly. And, like, his Lucio is 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 actually pretty solid. Um, and so we're trying to flex him into some other roles that we can we can work with and, and mold and find ways to get everybody... Um, not only... Kind of get everybody to expand their horizons a little bit. Because, like, I, that was one of the powerful things for me when I joined x Um... I got thrown out of heels, and I did not play the sport at all. And it was really powerful for me to get in there and get the feel for playing a different role. Um, and, and, it, and it helped me grow as an Overwatch player. So I kind of wanted to do that same thing with this team and give everybody a chance to, to play some different stuff. So yeah, we did a cool. lot of off-rolling tonight, and it was, it was kind of nice to see that we had that flexibility. Speaking of solid Lucios, in, in regards to Lucios on teams, uh, uh, earlier this season I took my team into team deathmatch free-for-all and played Lucio. I am sure you face rolled them. Yeah, it was fun. Dan, <laughs> were you there? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that sometimes. We'll do that sometimes. But whatever, what always happens is Sanchez picks Doomfist and then just 
And they say, waits that, but then, but then just wait, <laughs> waits for whoever's slow health and kills them, and then we'll win because he just steals kills. But that's the that's the game of Doomfist, isn't it? <laughs> so, guys, uh, Eric, thanks for coming in, and I yeah. appreciate the conversation. And um, I think that's gonna wrap it up for tonight, actually. Thank so. you guys for casting, especially last minute. Oh, that's no problem. It was a joy. It was it was a it was a pleasure. It was a lot of yeah. fun. Thanks, so, thanks to Dan and Swamp Daddy for not making me by myself and having the stream be a complete, <laughs> like, just black screen with me mumbling in my mic for two hours. You'd yeah, have so done I, fine. I believe in you. <laughs> so we don't we don't have any questions from the chat, so I think with that, uh, I think we're going to wrap it up. Uh, right, again, I'm, 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 I'm Caleb, Swamp Daddy, and uh, we have Timmy and that Dan guy on cam, so thank you all for tuning in. And Dan, whenever you're ready, just take us out. All right. Well, this has been season all right, season six, week six of the uh, PMA Overwatch League. So, uh, quick shameless plug: if you do want to see some black screen and mumbling, uh, I can't be live, or I'd probably just hope uh, host myself. But uh, there goes a the link. I'll be live after this. But you all have a lovely night. Oh. Thank you for joining us today.